in another edition of the Daily Kodo Tips. People don't know this is take two, by the way. Um, there is an optimal way when it comes to chain grabbing uh, Fox and Falco, where a lot of people tend to chain grab like this, where um, they dash forward like that. But the problem of doing a chain grab like this is that by, at the bare minimum, if you dash forward, you have to spend three frames at minimum doing this dash forward, three to four, and then you have to do a pivot grab. So that's why sometimes it is possible whenever you chain grab this way that you could get shined whenever chain grabbing a fox. However, if you chain grab with a dash back first, you can break your dash turnaround pivot grab a lot sooner. You could actually do it frame one of your turnaround. Look at this again. It's way faster. It, it gives like, maybe like, it, it gives it, the grab would turn, come, bleh. the grab will come out two frames sooner. Two to three frames. Um, if you saw in the last, the last way of how you try to pivot grab, you have to be in dash for roughly three frames, maybe four. Uh, whereas here, you could break your dash turnaround within one frame. So this is the optimal way of chain grabbing. If you're not, if you're trying to chain grab Fox and Falco at like ten to twenty percent, you need to do it this way. Um, I could set up a scenario where this is precisely the case. So. As you might see here, I am doing the unoptimal version where like a lot of times foxes will slight the eye and uh, they will slight the eye and time a shine. And as you see here, the shine comes out. This is frame perfect with the normal method of doing a, a dash forward. Now let's compare this to the optimal way. I'm trying to mass shine here. I cannot shine. Hey, I'm even going to turn on input display just to show you. I literally tried shining at the last possible frame and it is impossible. So... If you really want to optimize your chain grabs against spaces in particular, and they've been really troubling you with the slight DI, this is the optimal way of doing it. Uh, because you can't really grab in place versus slight DI at times. And if you do a dash back pivot grab to account for the slight DI with the faster turnaround, this is the optimal way of chain grabbing. So um, hopefully this helps you out when, when it comes to chain grabbing spaces because uh, Mark needs it. And you do not want to get reversal here. And uh, please like and subscribe. I appreciate it.